Grill Sergeant here, and you might be asking yourself, Grill Sergeant, what is this ridiculously, ridiculously, <laughs> what's this ridiculously large box next to you? And it is the Wildfire 4-in-1 Grill. About a year ago, we did a live video with Scott when he did his Kickstarter on this grill. Well, it got fully backed, and now they are in production and releasing them out. Let's get to unboxing. It's a big box. It came in yesterday. It's weighing like 50 to 60 pounds. Definitely has some heft to it. This is going to be for the front door. Pretty much already assembled, ready to go. All right, let's get this up and onto the table. <laughs> Oh, looks like there is a bunch more contents inside, so let's check that out. Start digging in here. Ooh, very cool. I'm picturing myself making pizza already. Have a great tier. So I'm going to assume this goes on here, and this also rotates. So if you actually did have a pizza stone on here, and you're putting it down here, this thing will actually spin. Now let's check out the top here. Here we have the lid itself. Very cool. Includes a pizza stone. Top grate. We got a cover. Yeah. They can cram a lot of stuff in here, good lord. Looks like this is the power stuff to run the fan. Can't go wrong with this, the user guide. So this is where your charcoal is gonna go. And what I really like about this is there is this almost like mesh wire screen here. And then the cool thing is when you actually have your fan system attached, it actually will blow the air down and get, you know, 1100, Fahrenheit heat. So when you wanted to get that wood fire stuff or you wanted to get an amazing sear on a steak, you can do that below the unit. And so that screen right here will let the flame through, but it won't let the ash through. So when you're done with the cook and you want to dump it out, all you have to do is lift this up. You can dump the contents out and then you are good to refill it. Now, say if you wanted to do cooking on top of this thing, you can put your charcoal in there and then you can put your grate that sits on top here, just like you would a Weber kettle. You have your top grate on here. You can do your cooking. You do have a vent on the very top right here. Very similar as far as air control. You can control how much air is going in on top. What's known as the warming zone. So you can actually put a cast iron on here and cook on here. You have the Asada zone, very similar to Santa Maria style. You can adjust the height. You can move this out of the way if you want. So let's look at the wild zone. So the wild zone is this lower compartment. The outside lid has a air vent that you can basically, the more air you have down in there, the more heat it is going to produce. Uh, there is a notch on the side down here uh, and that actually takes care of that bottom plate. We'll get more into that. So to pull this out, this just comes straight out like this. So now you actually have access under here. It's very important that you're actually using thermal gloves when working with this stuff because this thing can get to over 1100 degrees. So definitely you're gonna wanna wear thermal gloves for this, but you pretty much have this handle here. You can grab, you can use tongs and move this around if you are actually doing pizza. But if you wanted to remove the pizza stone and you actually wanted to sear some steaks on here, easy, you can do that. The flame actually is going to be coming from the top down when you actually have the fan on. And I'll show you that fan system in a bit. You're going to see these beautiful flames come down, screaming hot heat. So when you want to enjoy pizza in 90 seconds or to sear a steak, that is definitely going to be in the wild zone. Now let's look at the back so we can check out the fan system. So here in the back of the unit, this is where forced air is gonna come down 
into to get that 1100 degree heat. And what I like is you actually have these magnet boards on here. So here is your fan system. What I like is you can literally put this on and it is magnetized and ready to use. You have a knob here and this knob allows you to control the amount of air going through. If you're not using the wild zone, you can actually just easily remove it. That is cool. I like the magnetic design. So when you want screaming heat, plug this in, turn the fan on, and, uh, and then close the top vent. And that's important because you want all that heat to actually be forced down into the wild zone. So definitely if you're gonna use this, close that top vent and then yeah, let it rip, potato chip. Man, love the badge here, made in USA. You don't see that too often. All right, moving up from the wild zone, we actually have where we're going to be doing our grilling. And so here, just like you would a Weber kettle, you have your coals down here and you can cook directly over the coals. You're probably gonna get anywhere from 700 to 800 degree heat uh, when you're actually cooking with the coals on here. But you can also get lower temps by closing down the top vents and the bottom vents that actually restricts airflow and then you can actually get lower temps. So definitely good for steaks, for searing, for chicken, all that good stuff on there. On top of that, you have what is known as the warming zone. And here you are going to mainly do your cast iron cooking on top of this. So here I have my 12 inch cast iron pan. You can put this on top and here you can make sauces if you want. You can do, I mean, anything you can think you could do in a cast iron pan, you could pretty much do on here. And then the last zone up here is the Asada zone. And I like to refer to it as a basically a glorified Santa Maria grill. So you can have the flames coming up here and then just low and slow cooking. You can even just put, so I'm picturing my first cook on this, I'm gonna be doing a tri-tip. And the best tri-tip I ever made was doing it this way where you actually have your coals and wood down here and just the flames are barely touching it and it is just coming up to temperature slowly, but it's being infused with all that wood smoke goodness. And then right when it's time to sear, you can either drop this down lower if you wanted to, or you can actually take it off, put it into the wild zone. Now it is hard adjusting stuff over high heat. So it is actually built on a swivel design. You can flip, add stuff apart from the heat. And then once it's ready, you can then put it back over. And so thus, that is the four in one. So now the big question is, what should I cook first? So thank you, Scott, for sending it. Can't wait to put this to use. Uh, let me know what I should cook first, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, Grill Sergeant out. Easy.